Okay, so you're going to say I'm going for a record making two videos in one day. <clears throat> but I've just been experimenting with the uh, Kiwi SDR receiver. I put the lid on it <clears throat> and uh, I've got a demonstration of how well electromagnetic shielding really works. Because here's the receiver, <clears throat> this little box here. I just put the lid on, <clears throat> having solved the spurious signal problem. And previously I've been experimenting with different ground wires and internal grounding. This case, unfortunately, is made of separate panels and they're insulated from each other by plastic strips. Let me just turn down the audio. This is another source of RF noise, by the way, this cheap Chinese amplifier. <clears throat> now, these um, panels are insulated by the plastic strips. It was very, it wasn't very cheap, but it was the cheapest case I could find on Amazon. I wanted a solid die cast aluminium box, but I decided I couldn't afford it <clears throat> or justify that ex expense. It's so expensive. This case, of course, I have to connect the panels internally with bits of wire. I use green wire, of course, to um, to make sure they're all grounded because of signal interference problems. And looking at this receiver output spectrum on the computer, you can see that it's, it's relatively quiet. Um, <clears throat> those are real signals. And um, it's OK. Now, on purpose, what I'm going to do is pick up the power supply from the floor <clears throat> This is a switch mode power supply, again because an analog power supply is just too expensive these days with 5 volts. This is made by uh, Meanwell, they mean well at least. So it's a Meanwell power supply which is recommended as being fairly low noise. And when I place it next to the case like this, you'll see on the waterfall spectrum display that the noise increases a bit around here. You can see there's a bit more noise than there was previously. Let's just try turning that around a different way to try and couple as much noise as possible from the power supply into the receiver. There you can see that uh, I'm making different changes as I move it around. You can see the noise level changing. And what I'm going to do is just demonstrate that electromagnetic shielding really works. Um, what I'm going to do <clears throat> is I'm going to connect this ground wire, which is from this part of the case, which is connected to the whole receiver electronics. I'm going to ground it onto here. I've even filed away some paint, some pretty blue paint, because it was insulating before, so that this <clears throat> part of the case will also be connected to the ground for the whole receiver. This wire doesn't go anywhere yet, but I've put a plug on the end of it, which is probably illegal to ground it to mains earth, but I'm not doing that at the moment. So let's just connect up this ground connection and see what happens to the noise floor on the receiver. <clears throat> I'm just going to hold it there like that, so it's now connected. And as you can see on the receiver, the noise level, background noise, has gone down drastically. I'm going to have to find myself a selfie stick. You can see that the, the white fuzz has disappeared quite a lot. I'm going to now disconnect that ground connection I made there and go back to the spectral display. And here you are, you see the noise has come back. This is the previous noise flowing away into the past. That was the quiet period when I had that wire connected. And now without that grounding wire, the noise has come back. So it just goes to show how important it is to consider grounding and electromagnetic shielding on sensitive radio equipment and other equipment. These days, with so many digital sources of noise around with computers and phones and goodness knows what, the, uh, the RF spectrum is very polluted. So we need to do everything we can to try to reduce the amount of noise that can get into a, a sensitive piece of equipment like that Kiwi SDR receiver and really to think about grounding issues and shielding for electromagnetic compatibility, EMC, to reduce electromagnetic interference. So that's enough for now. Let's see what else I discover today. Thanks for watching and remember to like and subscribe. Click.